Hey everyone, if you're like me and you're ready for summer down the shore, you might want to think about upgrading your beach wagon or cart to simplify your beach trek. In this video, I'll go over some options that will make life a little easier carrying your gear down to the beach. Since we beach in Cape May County, New Jersey, I'll include some local beach cart options for sale and for rent. But before we get started, if you dig this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So full disclaimer up front, I am the owner of EB Swagger, so this video may be a little bit partial. However, I do understand that my product is not for everyone, so I'll provide some other options worth considering. If you carry a lot of gear to the beach, you'll want a cart with low pressure balloon wheels. On those hot summer days, dragging a cart with the wrong wheels through the thick sand is no fun for anyone. These low pressure balloon wheels will make your life a lot easier when you have an electric wagon or a manual push or pull cart. Low pressure balloon wheels do increase the price tag of a beach cart. However, if you're the one pulling the cart, they are well worth the investment. First question you should ask yourself is how often do I beach? If you're only down the shore for a week on vacation and don't typically come back, renting a beach cart is probably the way to go. Many rental properties come with a beach cart, so be sure to ask your rental owner if there's one provided. If so, and you're satisfied with that option, you're all set. If not, you'll need to find a local beach gear rental company to provide you what you're looking for. For your information, I provided some links in the description below with some beach gear rental companies on the East Coast. Now, if you're down the beach quite often and you carry lots of gear, you'll want to consider purchasing a beach cart. Most of the beach cart options with low pressure balloon wheels are rather large, so you'll need to consider the logistics of getting your cart to the beach. If you have a beach home within walking distance of the beach, you'll want to consider your storage area entry width, which could limit your options. So first, let's start with non-motorized options. The low pressure balloon wheels will make them easier to push or pull through the sand, but you will still need to push or pull them. Depending on how much weight you're carrying, and if you have dunes or not, it could still be quite a workout. First of the non-motorized options is the Wheelies Beach Cart. This one rides on two 16 and half inch wheels and has a kickstand. To use it, you have to hold the handle and balance the weight while you walk. Its maximum payload is 220 pounds, and its tub capacity or volume is three and a half cubic feet. The axle length, which is also the overall width, is 34.4 inches. Just a quick disclaimer here as I get into the pricing. I'm presenting information available online as of April 2023. Prices change from time to time, and you may see different prices from different websites. This pricing is from the wheelies.com website, and you can see the cart goes for $471, which does not include shipping. These carts are available for rent in Cape May County, New Jersey, as you can see from surfbuggycenters.com. The next three options are local to Cape May County, and they are all pushed like a shopping cart. These carts are not shipped outside the area, but you're welcome to pick them up if you're from out of town. I really like this one by Smooth Sailing Beach Carts. It rides on three 12-inch wheels. The sailboat design is very unique and looks really sharp. You can even get it personalized with your family name or other text of your choice. This cart has a maximum payload capacity of 300 pounds and the volume of the container is 9.5 cubic feet. The overall width of the cart is 34.7 inches. Its base price is $595, which includes free shipping from Margate to Cape May, New Jersey. The smooth sailing beach carts are also available to rent from Margate to Cape May, New Jersey. Check them out at ssbeachcarts.com. This next one is by CNC Beach Carts. It rides on four wheels, is made of one and a half inch PVC pipe, has lattice floor and walls, and has a built-in pole holder. The tall railings provide lots of storage space with a volume of 10.7 cubic feet. Their website says the maximum payload is 100 pounds with an asterisk. When I reached out to them to clarify, they replied, we recommend 100 pounds, however, you can load what you feel you can handle. We personally have put more in. The overall width of the cart is 32 inches. The base price for the regular cart is $595, and they also have a fishing cart for $625. Their price does include free delivery to the areas they serve around Cape May County, New Jersey. CNC beach carts are available to rent from Brigantine to Cape May, New Jersey. 
You can find them online at cncbeachcarts.com. The last local option I'm covering is by Beach Cart Creations. They ride on 16 inch wheels, are made from furniture grade PVC pipe, and come with racks for your chairs and extra long items. Pre-built carts are available for purchase, or you can customize one to meet your needs. You can get one that comes with four wheels like the one on the left, or six wheels like their tank cart on the right. The maximum payload of their standard cart is 200 pounds. The volume is a whopping 15.7 cubic feet with 22 inch tall railings, and the overall width is 35 inches. The side racks are removable, which extend beyond the 35 inches when left on. Check out beachcartcreations.com for more information. Pricing is not listed on their website. However, the 2023 price for a standard cart with four wheels is $1,095, which includes free delivery from Avalon to Cape May, New Jersey. These last two non-motorized options will ship anywhere, so they apply to everyone. This one is the Big Kahuna Wagon. It has four 12-inch wheels, and you pull it behind you using the handlebar. This wagon can haul up to 350 pounds, the volume is only 5.4 cubic feet to the top of their 8.5 inch tall railings, and the overall width is 31.5 inches. They are priced at $899, which includes free shipping. You can get more information at alumacart.net. The last non-motorized option is by Phoenix Coachworks. They are made out of aluminum, ride on three 16.5 inch wheels, and come with racks for your chairs and extra long items. They offer two sizes, the 40 inch and the 48 inch, which are the length of their baskets. The maximum payload of the 40 inch is 300 pounds. The volume is 6.9 cubic feet and the overall width is 41 and a half inches. The maximum payload of the 48 inch is also 300 pounds. The volume is 10.0 cubic feet and the overall width is 45 and a half inches. The base price of the 40 inch is $1,245 and the 48 inch is $1,295. You can find more information at phoenixbeachbuggies.com. The Phoenix Beach Buggies are available to rent in Cape May County, as you can see here at islandsbestrentals.com. Okay, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of all the non-motorized beach carts I covered. The one with the highest maximum payload is the Big Kahuna Wagon, but it also has the second lowest volume. The largest volume goes to the Beach Cart Creations, the minimum width goes to CNC beach carts. The minimum price goes to wheelies, but it also has the lowest volume. The biggest rack goes to the Phoenix Beach Buggy, but if you're looking for the best value and best looking, I would lean towards the Smooth Sailing Beach Cart. It has the second highest maximum payload, third highest volume, second lowest price, and a really unique look in my opinion. You can get nearly three times the volume of a wheelies for about an extra hundred bucks and you don't need to balance it while you walk. If you're sick and tired of pushing or pulling your cart, you'll want to consider an electric beach wagon. There are three electric beach wagons on the market with low pressure balloon wheels. In this video, I'll be comparing our e-beach wagon to the Sandhopper and the electric Big Kahuna wagon. They all operate the same by walking with the wagon while using the controls on the handle. To make it move, simply press down on the thumb throttle and walk with the wagon. Our wagon can carry up to 300 pounds effortlessly through any sand. There are a few things that make our e-beach wagon unique. First is the width of our wagon. The widest part of our wagon is 27 inches. So if the only access door to your storage area is through a 30 inch door, e-beach wagon is the only one that will fit through it. The Sandhopper's width is about 34 inches and the electric Big Kahuna wagon is about 31 and a half inches. Another advantage of the narrow width is that it fits on more hitch carriers. Most mobility scooter and wheelchair carriers are 30 inches wide or less, so they are compatible with our e-beach wagon. For more information on how to transport our wagon, check out our video referenced in the notes below. Next is our tall railings that come standard. Our patent pending railing design is depressed in the middle so you can carry extra long items if needed. The railings are 15 inches tall so that extra height gives you more capacity inside the wagon. Some other wagons charge extra for tall railings. The dimensions of the wagon inside the railings are 24 and a half inches by 45 inches long. Later in this video, I'll compare the capacity of this wagon to others on the market. 
Our patent pending frame design is unique with eight built-in pole holders and a removable plastic wagon bed. Once you remove the pins securing the wagon bed down, you can easily remove the wagon bed for deep cleaning or for easy access to the electrical and mechanical enclosure box. On each corner of the frame, there are two vertical tubes wide enough to support your umbrella pole, flag pole, or fishing rods. Simply remove one of the railings and drop your pole right through the frame. It's that simple. We also have a detachable handle, which is beneficial when transporting your wagon. Simply unplug it from underneath the wagon, remove the safety pin, and slide the handle off. And finally, you can't beat the aesthetic design of our wagon. It's inspired by the look of the woody wagon with the wood slats protected by a clear lacquer. The railing tubes are curved elegantly and powder coated black. The unique shape of the aluminum frame, powder coated blue, brings it all together perfectly. And even the wiring and electrical controls are neat, including the USB charging ports on the control panel to charge your cell phones. No detail has been overlooked with the design of our EB wagon and it really does show, but I'll let you be the judge of that. And now to compare the three electric wagons side by side. You have the E-Beach wagon on the left, the electric Big Kahuna wagon in the middle, and the Sandhopper on the right. The Sandhopper has many sizes, but I'll be comparing their 24 by 48 inch model since that's the most similar to the others in size. The one shown on the right has their single railings that come standard. When computing their volume, I took the dimensions inside and to the top of the railings. The E-Beach Wagon's maximum payload is 300 pounds and the volume is 9.6 cubic feet. The Big Kahuna comes in at 350 pounds and 5.4 cubic feet and the Sandhopper comes in at 300 pounds and 5.9 cubic feet. The Sandhopper does offer double railings for an extra fee which increases their volume to 10 cubic feet. The electric Big Kahuna Wagon retails at $2,995 which includes free shipping. The Sandhopper is sold online on multiple websites. Sandhopper.com is the manufacturer's website located in Los Angeles, California. MySandhopper.com is a distributor located in Virginia Beach. Since we're discussing options for the Jersey Shore, I'll show the pricing from the East Coast distributor site. MySandhopper.com shows their best value is their 24 by 48 inch and comes with 20 amp hour batteries and single side rails for $2,395. Just a note that E-Beach Wagon comes with 22 amp hour batteries standard, so you'll get more out of each charge without paying extra. What is not obvious in that offer is that price is for cash purchases. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page and select a 24 by 48 inch model, you'll see there are separate prices for cash and for credit card purchases. Now, if you want a more apples to apples comparison to the E-Beach Wagon, let's look at the credit card pricing and add in the double railings, and one pole holder, even though E-Beach Wagon comes with eight standard. You'll see that the credit card price is $2,774, which does not include shipping. When you go to eBeachWagon.com, you'll see the price we list is $2,499, which is our credit card purchase price and does not include shipping. We too have a cash discount, so we'll reduce that price by $75 to $2,424 if you pay with cash or check. Our warehouse is located in Delaware, home of tax-free shopping, so if you're able to pick up a wagon in Newcastle, shipping is free and no taxes. If you are shipping it to Cape May County, New Jersey, we can reduce the shipping price to as low as $50 in some areas, like Cape May and Wildwood. Or if you're willing to pick it up at a distribution center near you, we can save you big bucks on shipping. Feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call to get our lowest prices on shipping. And finally, here's a side-by-side -side summary of the electric beach wagon options. Not only are we the best looking electric wagon on the market, but we are also the narrowest, which will save space in your garage, and we are the lowest price when you do an apples to apples comparison. We can also work some magic on the shipping price, so just give us a shout to find out. Well, thank you for checking out this video. If you're ready to upgrade to the Tesla of beach wagons, please reach out to us. We're looking forward to hearing from you.